How's it going? It's been a minute or two, maybe even three since I've been on here last. How's everybody been? I know I haven't been doing the videos like I used to, but there's no point. I'm not even going to freaking try to not do something when I don't want to do it. If you know what I'm saying, because I'm getting older. But I finally got some parts in for this. T T B T B I T I B T T. I finally got some parts in for this TBI throttle doohickey thing, my bobber, for the old truck. So I'm going to start and maybe put something together here for you today. So I got myself a Russell fuel pressure gauge, a Russell adapter for the fuel pressure gauge to a 6AN, 6AN to throttle body, GM throttle body adapters, and an adjustable jet regulator. First thing we're going to do is put this regulator in. In order to do that, if you look down here, what we need to do is take this top housing off. So we'll get rid of that right now. So we'll do this together. Careful. We'll pull this apart. It's starting to heat up in here a little bit. It's been a little cool in here. Snap, crackle, like poppins. So all you gotta do is keep the top screws off this. I don't even know where the other screws are for that. I probably lost half the stuff now. Oh, this is gonna be just mint. It's gotta be around here somewhere. You shouldn't take this stuff apart unless you're ready to put it together. How's that? That's a pretty good idea, actually. I don't know why the hell I took that apart, but I did. Now, when you're taking this apart, just make sure that all the screws are the same as you're setting them down. And if they're not, you might want to put the screws that are different somewhere else. That's what some people say. Oh, yeah, see, those two are different. These ones are longer, the ones in the middle. Remember that. And maybe even this one. We're going to find out. Yeah, so those three are long ones. These three are long ones. So now that that's apart, we should be able to separate this very gently like. Too much strain on it. There it goes. So that wasn't too bad. We can undo the four bolts that are on the regulator that are a different size. Why wouldn't they be? So I bought these four screws out. So this thing, you think the jet for 160 some dollars would come with a new gasket, but no, why would it? Frank, that doesn't make sense. All right, so there we go. Oh, she's pretty dry, that one. So we'll pull this off. This is the old doodad and I got a new one of them hopefully we're gonna find out here shortly so basically all I need from this is the screws so I'll go over here to my trusty kit maybe nope hold on nope uh oh oh here we go what's this should be a diaphragm in here hopefully oh yeah there is there we go, look at that, I got a brand new diaphragm O. So now that we get that over there, you want to make sure all this is kind of debris free. Just check it out, make sure it's all nice and clean. It looks pretty good. And then we got to get off all this old gasket, which should pull right off. As long as you're nice and gentle with it. Oh, well, it's kind of falling off. Kind of, sort of. Maybe not. I don't know. Frig. Yeah, it's coming off. Sort of, gotta get a razor bleed. We are gonna just uh, stick with the stock injectors for now, because like I said, I can regulate the fuel a little bit and I was doing some research there and it seems like I can get away with it. So that's what we're gonna do. So we don't need that one. We'll take that off there. There we go. Good. So now that's done, we blow it out. There is a gasket, oh, not that. Here's a gasket in here you need to take out. There it is. And then we'll give that a little wipe. So the first thing we're gonna start with is the new diaphragm, which we'll put on here somehow. Hold on, it's like that. Here's the other way. Which way did it go, Jim? Oh brother, this way. Got it right the first time. There we go. And now we can get out the new regulator and the new gaskets so we got a regulator it's got an adjustable doohickey on the bottom it looks like a giant allen key the big washer and the little washer there she is so we'll start by putting this little ring in here and then we'll start by putting this thing on here i'm just going to look at this and see which way it needs to go i'm going to say that way 
Yeah, I'm gonna say that way. So we'll put it on just like that. So now what I need is a spring. Now you just use a stock spring with these. Ooh. Oh, wee. Let's get this, let's back this off a little bit. Howdy ho, neighbor. We're gonna stick this on here, Brian, and try to keep it level and straight. Cause that spring is one hell of a fucking spring. Oh, careful! Oh. That's a pretty blue. You like that? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh, I need to figure oh. out. That thing has got some fucking pressure to her, Jim. Those are some nice lines, buddy. What's that? Aren't they? Aren't they? they look pretty. Too bad you've never seen them. I haven't showed the fans out yet, unless they follow me on Instagram, then they would have seen them. Then they'd know. That's why I said something. Let me just get these started, and then I'll be able to stop sweating so much because I can't believe the amount of pressure on this spring. It's freaking ridiculous. I think I may hold it. Would you look at that? Mm -hmm. This thing is never going to run again. No silicones? No silicones on this, bud. She's all rubber. Got torch text? Yeah, it's that. Snug them up. You know how it works. Same torch specs that you go with most of the time. Uh, mine's a little heavy. You go a little tight, do you? I've been working out. Mm, nice. I don't remember the cutlass. Mm. Oh, that housing's garbage. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I do remember the cutlass. <laughs> so there you go. That's on. So there's your adjustable fuel regulator for that part. So now the next part is we get to put this gasket on here like this. Oh, man, does that ever fit nice? And then we get to put this gasket on here. Hey, Bri? And then we get to put this. Don't forget this O-ring, by the way, on the on your doodad because yeah, that's gonna be on there too. Nope. No lube, eh? No lube. Hmm. No lube for me. Put her in dry. Remember, this is a. Uh, I should probably put some Loctite on these, maybe though. Gotta make sure she doesn't leak first. Might have to take her apart. You never know. No, this is fuel bry, so you don't really need any lube or shit like that. Worst case scenario. It just pisses fuel everywhere and then you just gotta snug her down, eh? It's not like, well, it's not gonna shoot oil all over your mouth or anything. 100 foot pounds. No bigger. Yeah. Check that out, eh? Well, fuck, he's holding what? 600 PSI of pressure here. It's gonna be a weapon, man. 2,500 horse. You gotta hold your fucking crank. engine down, you know? Ah! The throttle body's the size of my head. Fuck it, she has some CFM, she does. I never hand bomb. This is ridiculous. You know what went missing in my garage? My fucking impact driver. That's it. Where'd you put it? I have no idea. That'll be the last place it is. I don't think somebody walked in my garage. I left my garage open a few nights, but I don't think anybody would walk in and just take a no took impact driver. You probably fell behind some. I looked. I've been looking for a week. I don't have the wall. I know. I didn't say I got, you did. I got the Milwaukee's. Oh, you didn't take it? No. Oh. Borrow, That's a surprise. Here's your drill. Normally you steal everything from me. No, I borrow. Don't forget to bring it back. There you go, boys. Look now at I that. Take, now I take good care of it. So you just snug them up. Don't kill them. Just snug them up. So there you go. So now the adjustable regulator is down there. You stick something in the hole and you can turn whichever way you want and adjust the spring pressure and Bob's your uncle. So now that that's done, we can put it back on this part we can on top of Brian's tool kit here. There you go. Oh, fuck yeah, you got my tools. Because it came in what? handy. That doesn't happen very often, eh? Ooh, there is a certain way that goes. How so there we go. How we'll throw that on had? there. How many months have you had that? Throw that on there. Oh, I can't talk right now, I'm concentrating. Mm. Nope. We'll throw this on here. Back garage. So I thought too, but it's not even there. Oh. Basement. This is bullshit. It's in the basement. Maybe. In throw the, these screws on here. In the big room? Maybe. Okay, something's not right there. It's definitely the right screw, is it not? Maybe it's just dirty. Hold on, let me. Bet she's holding it with his fingers. Oh. Fuck, that doesn't Once not she's tight, just keep going. No, oh, let me try changing it. They different lengths? This one goes in better. Different lengths? It hasn't had a screw in this part yet. This is a new throttle body. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on there, Jim? You got a new throttle body. The bottom plate's new, yes. Oh, it's a retro fittage. No, bigger. 
Remember the, the stock one's 6600, this one's 750. There it goes. It was just kind of sticky. No. Yeah. See if there's a bird down on them. I got air. Oh, did you get it? Did hmm. you give it the lip job? Got something. Not this ball in here. There we go, Jim. What is going on here? Sucking it down. No, it's not. We're getting a gap over here. Is getting the throttle a body fucking warped. Warped or what? Get a little. What is that? Oh. A little trimmage. Yeah, this isn't quite as deep as that. Well, fuck. You gonna drill that out? What was that? A uh, screw, maybe? Yep. Uh, drill that out. I can drill that out. What other one? You got a center one too? No, that one's all the way down. We're good there. That's exactly what's holding up. What's right? this one? No, I'm talking about what's holding the throttle body up. Yeah, there. one, two, three. What's this screw for? That's for the pull the air breather on. Gotcha. Yep, drill that bastard out. Right? <clears throat> Probably good for about 80 horse. Drop that sucker out in. Yeah, light her up. Decent. Holy shit, you can get the right size, right fit. Got her, Bray? How about her? That's what I just smell my belt. A little tit. Well, I'm hoping not to go all the way down either. There. <laughs> That's it, boys. Let's go blow this off. Not just a pretty face, Bray. No. Okay. There. <laughs> Perfect. It's a nice looking gate. I don't know what the hell happened to my air blower, Joe. Okay, so now if that's done, Bri, it should go back together now. Maybe. Wrong way again. All right, here we go. Fit two. Fit number uno two o. These all stand. I have a feeling these threads aren't as deep as your stock threads. You want these ones? Wish I had your money. I can't afford stainless. I can't afford nothing. That's why I've done videos lately, because you can't do a video if you can't do nothing. Come down to my house, I'll put you to work. No, I don't want to do nothing over there. How's that? Oh, there we go. Now she's seating. Good. 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 That's 40. Good. Oh, yeah. This one here, I'm going to give it another washer. I'm sure you want it. Because it got tighter as we got going there. You don't want to put... Uh, Loctite in them. You should put Loctite on them, eh? Let's, Let's do that. Down. Little dab will do her. Yep, right here. Yep, good call, Bri. Loctiter. That way we don't put a bolt down the old intake ruski. Now that you know it fits. Now that it all fits, that's right. Is it under the truck? No, I checked there too. He's gone. Was this breather line for the uh, brakes? What? <laughs> Your the line haven't cut yet? <laughs> yeah, let her stick out of the hood. Yep. All right, so there we go. That's back together. Look at that, Jim. Now these fittings, these are Russell fittings and they go from GM to 6AN. They do. I think I might blue, I think I might put a little bit of fucking you shouldn't need it though because these are a sealed seal it. Mm-hmm. Bottom out, you mean? Whether or not. Oh yeah, there we go. Five eighths? How much? Maybe five eighths. That's a good question. No, I think it's a 19 or an 18. 19? Yeah, 19. Yeah, because the AM fitting. Are we on a wrench or a socket? Uh, it's gonna have to be a wrench probably. Yeah. Me neither. Oh, it's not a 19. You got any cooler? Yep. I heard. 3-8. 6-8 fitting, 3 on her. Let's see that. Come on. I ordered like that. Fuck, I don't know, man. It's like in between metric. It's 6 a.m. They're their own sizes. Nope, nope. There it is. Three eights, come on, let's go. Right, right? 
you know. 500 shares, Bill will give away a free t-shirt. I will give away dick. <laughs> so here we got another Russell fitting, and this one goes from AN6 to AN6, but it's designed so I can put that on there, like so. And then your Russell fuel pressure regulator goes on here, Jim. It's upside down. Oh my God, Bri. This oh is boy. sexier than fuck. Your uh, air cleaner gonna fit there though? Yep. And there you go, boys. Sexy. There's your aftermarket customized throttle body system with adjustable fuel regulator for your performance and maximum fuel pressure when you need it the most on the 305 60 over with 555 foot pounds of torque and 675 horsepower mm. or is that backwards plus the 10 horse we just drilled oh yeah we drilled out a little weight there didn't we yeah but anyways there you go that's boys the girls crank, of course you know i'm joking but there you go boys girls people but that's not true. Leave your comments down below if you like this kind of video. I know it's not much of a video, but it's something, and it's kind of neat and different, and I like it. I got all six AN fittings that go all the way down to the friggin' bottom of the engine. I've got all quartz angles of the dangles. I got every kind of fitting you can think of in here, so oh, nice. we can do like 90s or 55s and 60s. We can go over and under and up and above. I need that for the cutlass. And then I got some. Six sand hose line there that we can use to run there whatever length we need her. And Bob's your uncle should be six sand right to the carburetor, six sand on the transmission. All oh, the transmission. Look at her. We're just waiting for the speedo to come in and she's be ready to button up. Friggin' right it will be. Hopefully in the next couple weeks or so we'll be getting this engine and Tranny just put in the hole. Because then from there on I got, you know, brackets to clean and you know, I gotta get a new one of these guys, and yes, there's all sorts of shit to be done. So, I'm glad you're all here still. Don't forget to stay. I did hit 6,000 subscribers. Only took 25 years, but I'm there. So, <laughs> hopefully you like that, because I do. But anyways, until the next one, we'll see you then.